make sure you subscribe before I knock your ass out. <laughs> so my wife suggested that we build a floating media console for our bedroom, and I'm like, what the hell is a floating media console? Oh, hold on, let me go check the internet real quick. So I go ahead, go type in floating media console on Google, and the first thing that your boy see is a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars? Damn, what? Oh yeah, we definitely building this. So I was sitting there thinking about who can I call? Who can I call? Oh Lord. Oh, my uncle, my Puerto Rican uncle. Let me see if he can do this. So I asked him, yeah, you know how to build a floating media console? He told me, ooh, that's easy. You know what I'm saying? That's easy, that's real easy. So I get all excited and stuff like that. He was like, how about, you know what I'm saying, next week? And my face changed. Then I asked him, tomorrow? He said, yeah. I'm like, hey! Every Oh shit, your camera looking good, man. We working out here, you know what I'm saying? We doing our thing. We should be doing a professional, having it on the table and all of that, but we out here doing it the way we want to do it, so. <laughs> all right, so we go right here. So we're gonna take this board, y'all, and we're gonna cut this into 10 inches so it can be our cleats. The cleats is what goes, goes inside the cabinet, right? No, that's the back. The back? <laughs> that's the back. Right now doing the sideboards. Okay, the sideboards. So here we go, guys. <laughs> Steady. Now, so guys, we just got finished putting the side pieces on top of the, you know what I'm saying, the media floating console you guys can see. We're almost basically done. My uncle put the little jig. Uh-huh. And you drill the holes with the jig. Mm-hmm. So you won't see the screw. Okay. And now we about to get ready to put the top on to finish, you know what I'm saying? The beginning of all of this, man. Let's get it. This glue is really strong when it dries, right? Yeah, it dries up very nice. Exactly. So what type of what type of bolt do we need for uh, screwdrivers? It doesn't matter what type of bolt, long as it works good. This is an impact gun. An impact gun. You know what I'm saying? Get one of those. If it not sound like it's, it's shooting, you got the wrong one. You got the wrong one, y'all. You can use the drill for it too. Yeah, drill. You can use the drill. Make sure you wipe off all the access right you know, off the wood. Even though you're gonna sand it. Yep, right? even though you're gonna sand it. It's a nice little entertainment center right here, bruh. We started from the bottom, now we at the top. So, my uncle recommended us to put about three spaces right here. You know what I'm saying? Because we about to have two doors for the floating media console. You know what I'm saying? He said it'll look better. It'll be more stable. You know what I'm saying? So get ready. Right. Uh, look. Now we did it nine and a quarter. Yeah. Right? So look. Now, this will go right here, right? Yep. So now, the part that we're going to do the 45 on. Yep. It goes into the wall. Mm -hmm. Half of it gonna go inside it, and the other half of it gonna go up here. So when you drop it, boom, it falls into place. And then it stays right on the wall, flat, flush, flat, right? Flush on the wall. Okay. Make sure this is centered to that line. Go ahead. All right. No, it's not centered at all. Right there. So we just finished installing the spacers, as you guys can see on the media console. And now we have to make the doors 11 and a half, my uncle said. 11 and a half, and then the other pieces for the split in half for the 45, mm -hmm. so we can hang it up. Okay, okay. So we can see if the door squared off. Excuse me for one minute. We're gonna take a break. <laughs> All right, so guys, this is what the the media floating box looks like with the door on. It looks like a complete box without it being sanded. You know, what I'm saying we have to sand it in a little bit after we're done putting this on. We don't have hinges right now. We had the order from Amazon. They come in Thursday, and then we'll be completely done with this. You know what I'm saying? We're using 220. Uh, how do you call that? Sand grip paper. Sandpaper. Sandpaper. The number 220. 
The higher the number, the smoother it gets, you guys. This is the square right here. If you guys don't know on the channel, this is called a square. So what you do, you can turn the blade. Now what you do is just put it on here. See, 45 right there. 45 Lock inch. This is how you make your, your little board right here have a little sideways end so that two things can connect whenever you're hanging the thing, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, so my uncle has a jig in his hand right now. And for this jig, we got from Home Depot for like about $40. And um, you need a clamp for this, you know what I'm saying? You need a clamp. So when you put that screwdriver in, what he's doing right now, that little drill, it goes right in. And you're gonna ask me what 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 do you need this for? When you put the screws in, you do not see the screws and the imperfection. It just literally goes right in the wood. Makes everything look nice and flush. Mm -hmm. Always remember what? That when you're about to hang this up, uh -huh. boom. You already got that much space from this. Mm -hmm. So don't go think it's gonna fall flat right here unless anyway you're gonna figure it out. <laughs> Yeah. Glue on this. Make sure to put glue on every one of these spaces so that when you put glue this on. right here, it's just so it stops the shaking and everything. Oh, like no shaking at all? No shaking at all. It won't wiggle, it won't do shit. Alright, so this is my first time looking at a sander, so my uncle's gonna show us how to put it on. I met I tried to match up a couple of holes. Mm -hmm. Velcro type. Oh yeah, it is velcro. <laughs> going for the first coat this is the first coat of the poly what is this what is it called this is stain and poly so we put in stain and poly on it this is gonna be the first coat I really like the first coat you know what I'm saying it looks really nice but the second coat looked really nice we, we tested out the board over here guys as you guys can see this is the first coat and this is two coats right here man I don't know man which one should we do Comment down below. So as of right now, guys, this is what it looks like, as you guys can see, without any polyester on it. My uncle's adding the polyester and it's looking, ooh, that's looking real good. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. That's wow. Good. That's looking real, real good, y'all. The reason why I'm not doing it, I'm sitting here learning from this guy right here, guys. You gotta learn before you do, you know what I'm saying? He doing it right now, y'all. Look at that. That's looking real beautiful. Damn. That's crazy. When it's sit up on the wall, y'all. Oh, Lord. If you ever need any service, you know what I'm saying? Hit up my uncle Ganga. His name is Ganga. You know what I'm saying? My uncle Ganga up in the building. Y'all, if y'all ain't know I was Spanish, I'm Spanish. You know what I'm saying? Not just black. I'm Spanish, too. I got the Spanish side of the family, baby. We out here. But um, we gotta finish this up. Oh, I gotta touch the little holes inside of here, guys, with a little Q-tip, so we don't have no type of little white stains, and we're gonna be all good. <laughs> The floating media console has been complete. I got a shout out my uncle for this because he had all the tools and him with tools and building stuff, you know what I'm saying? That boy is a beast. He, I feel like he could build anything he wants once he put his mind to it. And um, this is our first time building it so we didn't think it was gonna come out nothing like this. But this came out absolutely beautiful. Now in the store, if I wanted to go buy this in the store, this is a modern look. This would have been like, $900 to $1,000 to buy because of shipping and stuff like that. Wow! This only costs us about like, I'm gonna say, hmm, this, this costs us about under $100, under $100. That is absolutely insane. The color that we went with was satin mahogany, where we stained it, and then we put the polyester to make it shine. My beautiful wife, you know what I'm saying, Sama, she picked the handles from Amazon 
And they came out absolutely beautiful. Nice, cheap, and everything, man. I'm telling you, you don't need to buy expensive stuff, you know what I'm saying, to look good. I'm telling you. Now, we got these little clamps in here from Amazon for $14, and it comes up soft and come down strong. That's how you want it. Nice and strong and firm. It's like, ooh, look at the, the functionality in that. Come on, man. First time building and it's not even movie shaking or nothing? That's crazy. Now, look at this. One, two, three, four. Four compartments of nothing but space. Now, we didn't want to do too much. We just wanted it nice and simple. So that's ex exactly why we went with that. Now, up top, we got some plants that's dying. We got to go buy some more decorations. Yes, we know. We got the sound bar, TV. We just need the lights behind the TV to make it more of a vibe in here so that when we watch the TV, it feel like we in a, we in a movie. You know what I'm saying? That's how I want it to feel, like we in a movie. And me and my girl, we was just talking about this, like, how can we get one of these? We want the room to look more modern. Well, me and my uncle built it. You know what I'm saying? My girl was basically the person who came up with the idea. So thanks to her, thanks to my uncle. And let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about this. One to 10, bruh. It's our first time doing something like that. And it was absolutely a fun project to do. And oh my God, look at that, y'all. I can't complain. The room looked different. I know y'all saw the room before in my in my little um in my house video, but the room didn't look nothing like this. It looked like we in a hotel right now. But let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about this. I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces, I love y'all, man. Make sure y'all smash that like button and subscribe for the next video. Deuces. Make sure you subscribe for a knock your I kill her. 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 I kill her.